Hi, welcome to video number two of four for the seven levels of reading influencing human behavior with regard to this case, Jesse Smollett. This so here, we're going to be talking about level one, cognition, and level three, deception. There's seven levels to reading and influencing human behavior. We're going to be talking about those. I, get, I can't get through this stuff fast enough, man. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going on today. So I just finished doing video one. It took me a couple hours to get it up and running. And look what, look what I've got coming in now. It's insane. So um, Jesse Smollett, uh, case to go to the grand jury this week. Uh, the alleged Empire star rehearsed the hoax, attacked uh, the host attack, hoax attack with two Nigerian brothers. He paid 3,500 bucks for assault and with bleach in the news. And here are the updates. Uh, attorney for Smollett says he's been victimized by the claims. Uh, both these brothers are friends of his, and um, they're known to be anti-Trump. The brothers were supposedly paid this 3,500 and promised an additional 500. Smollett said last month that he was the victim of this racist, this is the attack. Initial reports said there was a noose, wielding men yelling, this is mega country. New evidence emerged. Uh, he is um, not considered a suspect, but I think that this, that has since changed in the last um, couple hours. Recently hired a high-powered defense attorney, uh, Michael Monaco, so you may, you may already know about that. So uh, unbelievable. It looks like he's going to be uh, arrested if he's not already arrested right now. Uh, so as I'm doing this video, it is 1.20 a.m. So it's 12.20 a.m. in Chicago because I'm over in the D.C. area. Let's dive in. We got a whole bunch of stuff to cover here. Holy smokes. Here we go. It's the teaser to my show. This is not the Celebrity Lie Detector. The Celebrity Lie Detector is my new online show that will be coming out in, soon, maybe even this week. While everything's being edited, I had to put together this PowerPoint really fast so I could do these reaction videos for you guys and, and so you could see what I'm saying because this is it's just unbelievable. I'll be showing this footage from years to come, for years to come. Uh, with regard to seven levels of reading and influencing human behavior, I, treat, I, I teach these levels at my company, Blue Streak Training. And uh, we're going to be talking about levels one, two, and three, cognition, which is the body and the brain, two, which is micro expressions, and three, which is deception. So here we're going to go into cognition and deception. I'm going to talk about traditional body language and how does that tie into deception with regard to this case. Beast, I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's what I never did. But for me, when that was released, I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's what I never did. Okay, well, so this is probably a true statement, right? That he never had any doubt that this was them. Never had any doubt. That's probably a true statement because he hired them. So he paid them the whatever, 3500 bucks, And so he knew it was them. So here he's telling a true statement uh, that he knows it's them. However, we're seeing uncertainty shrugs. A shrug is uncertainty. It means there's something he's not telling us. And this is a great example I'll show in my keynotes now with regard to, okay, when someone is lying, the shrug doesn't mean it's the opposite of what they're saying. I'll often say in a keynote to somebody, um, ask me if I've ever cheated on my husband. And they'll say, have you ever cheated on your husband? I say, no. And the audience laughs, of course. And, and I go, well, many of you think what? You think I'm a cheater. Because you asked me if I'm a cheater, but maybe my husband cheated on me. Or maybe I overheard two women crying in the bathroom before the event. And one was saying her significant other stepped out on her. See, when I shrug, it just means there's something I'm not telling you. It does not mean it's the opposite of what I'm saying. And that's the case here with Jesse Smollett because he's saying, I have no doubt that they, that I know these guys, but he's showing us uncertainty. Yet we know, and court will prove, that he did know that these were the guys. This is legit. He does know. And the shrugs are coming to, are appearing here for all the stuff he's not telling us. Does that make sense? Let's keep going. I'll play this again for you real quick. But we have a ton to cover. For me, when that was released, I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't have any doubt in my mind that... Lips disappear. We'll talk about that in a minute. The, watch the shrug. Never did. And watch those lips disappearing. That that's a biggie, like, too. 
Here's another one. Tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Of like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Of like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Of like, what's happening listen, here, by the way, guys? The truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Of like, are you watching this? So he's doing what's called a hand shrug. Again, another video I'll be using with my corporations, with my corporate clients. A hand shrug is the same thing as a shoulder shrug. It indicates uncertainty. If I just tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. So we're seeing this hand shrug happening here, and then we hear the word, if I tell the truth. Uh, we notice a micro expression of disgust happening. Did you see it on his lips? I'll circle it when it comes up again. I'll play it one more time for you. This is interesting for me. So if I were Robin, Robert, Robin Roberts and I saw that, I would ask about the disgust right there. So if I tell the truth, and why is he leaking the disgust? Now maybe this is the deal on body language. We don't know what the catalyst is behind the body language. So you can see the disgust. You just don't know what the catalyst is behind that disgust. It just, it seems out of place here. I would ask the question, you know, what's the disgust about? Maybe simply he could say, well, people not believing me because I am telling the truth. I don't know. Let's watch it again. I'll show you the disgust. I'll circle it. Listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it. Because it's right the there, truth. Right there. Like, Wait, where he says that's listen, it. If I tell the truth, then that's it. Because it's the right truth. Right there. It's when that upper lip goes up a little listen, bit. That's disgust. Watch. I'll try to stop it. That's it. Right there. See that disgust? This is disgust. So disgust, the nose can either wrinkle in disgust or the upper lip can come up or both. So here we see that upper lip coming up. This is disgust. It's, it's the truth of like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it because it's the truth. We'll talk about his eye movements in a little bit. So we have more shoulder shrugs. We saw similar shrugs with people like Jerry Sandusky. When he said he didn't do that stuff to those kids. Okay, these allegations are false. I didn't do those things. <coughs> I don't know. All right, that second, I don't know with Jerry Sandusky, that one makes sense, right? Because he's saying, I don't know. A shoulder shrug or a hand shrug means, I sends the signal, I don't know. So the second one makes sense. It's that first one with Jerry Sandusky that really causes the, us the, the, the pause to say, He's a liar, which we know he okay, was a liar. I didn't do those things. I didn't do those things. He's not a stutterer, so that changes his baseline. When meeting people, we're always trying to get someone's baseline when possible, when possible. You need someone's baseline because how do they normally behave? Okay, here we have um, George Costanza just demonstrating a shoulder shrug. Shoulder shrug. Now let's go to the next move. Lips disappear because we have a whole bunch of footage to go through, guys. I'm so happy you're here. So um, lips disappear. When we don't like really see or hear, our lips disappear. Pull your lips in. Just feel what that feels like. And say, I am so happy. I am a happy person. You, you feel that tension that's happening here. So it's connected with anxiety, anxiousness, being stressed and worry. So when we don't like what we see or hear, our lips disappear. Now this is like Mac Daddy. So this is the parasympathetic nervous system kick, kicking in here for Jesse. And then we see this with some other heavy hitting liars in the past. And I'll show you pictures of them in a second, but this is unbelievable. Look at that. Uh, you can't even try to make this face right now. Try to make it, Ernie. So pull your lips in tight. And go upside down. I, I am a body language expert. I can't even do it. No, my looks weird. I look constipated. I don't know. It did not look like this. It did not look like this. This is a fight pace we see a lot with that anxiety and stress and worry with deceptive people. The stress is through the roof, man. Remember this guy? Elliot Spitzer. So Elliot Spitzer was cheating on his wife. His wife's off to his side here. You can see a little bit of her hair in the bottom left of the of, of the picture off to his right side. I don't know. But when I do this video, I think for somehow it, it switches. But anyway, near the yellow on the flag, you could see her hair. Um, this is where we talked about having sex uh, with a hooker in Washington, D.C. I think he used government funds for it, too. And we see this facial expression come on. And then the next person is O.J. Simpson. This is where O.J. said he never owned Bruno Magli shoes. And, we, and this is significant because there were Bruno Magli shoe prints at the scene of the crime. So I play this video currently in, in some of my keynotes with sales, with sales teams. I show the actual video. I will not be showing it here for tonight. For me, when we have too much to cover. I was like, 
okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them. Look at all the weird pausing, by the way, as well. Never did. did you see that? Look at the mouth. This is the mouth. I, like, okay, I know we've already seen this clip, somewhere. but we're focusing on the mouth. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them. Look at that. Boom. So shoulder shrugs. Now we see the lips disappearing here. We see this quite a bit. If I had said lips, it was a Muslim or Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot. Oh, I see. We see a smile in here too. And that says a lot about the place that we are in our country right now. The fact that we have these fear mongers. Anger these there. That are trying to separate us and lips it's just not okay smiling it's just not okay it's just not okay and we see laughter we see smiling we'll go over this in a bit this is called duping delight but these li lips disappearing here this is an um, this is a very sad clip so he he is do he's talking about this even before he talks about being attacked so we see anger in here about these fear mongers that are trying to separate us and we see none of that emotion when he talks about being attacked nothing so he's being attacked and beaten up and has a noose around his neck a noose a noose around his neck that's like that's devastating to me if if that was you know real like if a real person did that that's absolutely devastating and uh and there's nothing there's no emotion when he talks about it but here, see what he's, he's setting the stage here. This is the beginning of the interview where this is really the problem is that he feels like probably that uh, we're not paying enough attention to the people who are dividing us. And I, I don't know what his ultimate cause is for lying in doing this whole entire setup. But if I had to guess, I would say it's something along here. Um, I don't know if you heard me in my first, if you missed my first section, the first um, of the series here, there's four series, this is part two. Be sure to go back and watch part one as well, because I talked about the stairs. And, and as we now know, the media just broke recently that since I did my first video, that this was rehearsed, that this fight was rehearsed. And this is what I'm talking about with the stairs. See, they talked about, I just said it before we even knew this was rehearsed, that the stairs were significant because it was probably something he said, okay, you'll attack me by the stairs. Uh, there's more to talk about that in a little bit. Let's watch any more clips here and lips disappearing. Oh, these are other people who had their lips disappear. Um, this is Chris Watts. I don't know if you followed this case recently. Um, this past summer, Chris Watts uh, murdered his pregnant wife, Shanann, and his two young daughters, um, Celeste and Bella. Um, I won't go into details of it. It's relevant for this, but I wanted to show you the lips disappearing. And uh, we see this with notorious liars, those lips being pulled in under high stress. Here's Jody Arias. Um, Jody Arias is the woman who um, killed her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander. Again, I, I mentioned her in part one of this series here with Jesse. Uh, so her lips are disappearing. Anxiety, stress, worry. When we don't like what we see or hear, our lips disappear. So we see this a lot with all the notorious liars. And now Jesse's in the mix with these really not good people. It's, it's very disheartening. Tongue protrusions. So when you see someone stick out their tongue, again, we also see this with notorious liars from athletes to politicians to business people to celebrities these little tongue protrusions it's deep concentration unspoken disagreement disliking uncertainty now sometimes you'll see like i want you to imagine like uh when you're super focused on something like threading a needle you'll go like the, you'll thread the needle have you ever threaded a, you know thread a needle you're like uh, that's like intense concentration on the details so that that deep concentration that we see here so deep concentration when you're doing something let me get that in there. Um, you'll see this with liars because they're remembering the truth and their lie and worried about what questions you're going to ask next. And so you'll often see these time protrusions happen quite a bit. So they didn't happen. And so they didn't happen. And so see the tongue come out on the left side of his mouth here? So they didn't happen. And so they didn't happen. And so they didn't happen. And By the way, this is one of many times with the tongue protrusions. There were so several. But there's only so much time in the day. I spent my whole weekend pulling this together for you guys. Hopefully you find it valuable. <clears throat> oh, here I'm playing it again with sound so you don't get hung up with the sound. But you just see the tongue protrusion coming out. 
these are some other people that had tongue protrusions. We see Chris Watts here, who we just saw a second ago on the top left. Uh, we see Jody Arias, of course, we see Jesse here. Um, we see Elliot Spitzer, uh, and then we see Roger Clemens, and then we see Scott Peterson. Scott Peterson killed his pregnant wife, Lacey Peterson, who was pregnant with their unborn son, Connor. And Roger Clemens, this is a video that, uh, interview that he did with Mike Wallace when he said he didn't take steroids and was lying through his teeth. I told him what happened, everything. I told him what happened, everything. I told him what happened, everything. I told them what happened, everything. So when we lie, we say things in weird ways. So I told them what happened, everything. So the, we see this with and hear this with Jesse a lot, a lot of start stop sentences. I told them what happened, everything. And what I'm having you pay attention to is his head shaking no. Do you see his head shaking no? Let me turn the sound off. So his head is shaking no here. So he's saying, I told them everything. Now this is a cautionary tale. This is not one of my favorites for detecting deception because we have um, what we're talking to you about. Uh, we have that level of dialogue happening and we're listening to you. But then we have internal dialogue. So oftentimes you'll see a head shaking in the opposite direction of what someone is saying. So this to me is not a good one for detecting deception. So I might be like, this was amazing. This was so amazing. But in my head, my self-talk is saying, unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like this. This is unbelievable but the words that are coming out are not matching my head shaking yes or no. Does that make sense? So like your favorite sport team can win, right? Say you love, you know, Tom Brady, but like Tom Brady, he did it again. He did it again. Tom Brady. He's amazing. Tom Brady. He's the best football. He's the best quarterback ever, ever. He's the best quarterback, but you're shaking your head. No, while you're saying Tom Brady's the best. Why? Cause your brain is thinking something else. Like it's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. We'll never see anything like it ever again. So the head nodding in the different direction is not a big indicator of deception. I threw it in because people watching this interview, he did this quite a bit while saying one thing, a definitive, and then shaking his head no. So I just wanna let you know, I throw this one out. We don't need it. There's so many other hot spots with deception. This is just a low hanging fruit that we don't even need. Ooh, are we done with the series? All right, we're done with part two, guys. This is so exciting. So we're done with part two. I can't wait to go into part three. If you've missed part one of our four-part series here with Jesse Smollett, please go back and watch one because in one we're talking about, uh, or I'm talking about and sharing with you, not we, uh, on uh, the difference between a truthful story in the setup of the story versus a lying story in, in the different ways that liars can set up their story. And we could tell simply by percentages that someone is not being forthright about something. So uh, my name is Janine Driver. I'm the celebrity lie detector. I have a show coming out here on social media soon. Uh, this is not the show. This is a little teaser to what's coming. Um, this is just me throwing this together, together, not with any fancy editing, just on PowerPoint. And I hope you find it valuable. I wanted to get out here fast because I know this case is unfolding fast and I did a Facebook live on it a couple days ago before anything broke about the guys you know what the the two Nigerian brothers uh, told police so I, I predicted up front that this guy Jesse was lying and I want to get this on the record the more details the sooner the better uh, so you guys know my training is legit and I just like I, I learned it I wasn't born knowing this stuff and just like I learned it you can learn it my name is Janine Driver be sure to follow my page if you know how to follow and like my page and spread this around share this with other people that you think would find this valuable my name is Janine Driver and uh, check me out over at uh, celebritylydetector.com. All right, bye everybody.